What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. And the video even starts yet. Y'all are brothers ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Fellas, are you being pressured into marriage only to be denied sex? Are you being pressured into a relationship? Only to be denied sex, and and this this is this is one of the things that uh that I get so confused about with women because we hear this all the time, and this is something that I ask, um you know a lot of the male men in my family, like they're my my the uh, you know male role models, people that I aspire to be, you know despite their flaws, despite their you know their 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 issues that they have, uh my uncles and you know my my father and stuff like that, some of my older cousins, uh I, I got so much love and respect for them. So I asked them, the ones that's married, I asked them what are the pros and cons of their marriage. All of the men in my family gave the exact same con. I was so curious. I started asking random dudes I was working with that was married. Started asking my random neighbors that I met that's married. Asked my homeboys that's married. And again, everybody said the exact same con. They all told me, they said, Dev, and, and, and excuse my language, this is what they said. He said, Dad, especially my uncle. <laughs> he, said, he said, Dad, if you like pussy, don't get married. And I was like, man, what? I, mind you, I was like, uh, I don't even know. I think I was probably 16 or 18 when I asked that question. And I said, man, I don't know what the hell. Oh, uh, 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 man, I uh, got to stay off that hand, man. Uh, stay drunk. I don't know what this man, what his man problem is. But I'm like, man, whatever. But the older that I got, the more that I started to understand, the more I started to realize that, yes, bro, it's, it's the exact same thing. It's like you're married to a woman. Here it is, five years, 10 years, 15 years down the line. And I heard this from my uncles. I heard this from, you know, a lot of the other men in my family. Uh, that would, would say, yo, Deb, the only time I can I can get some ass from my woman is either on my birthday or Christmas. I'm like, bro, that's twice a year. That's wild. So, ladies, by that logic, are we able to step out and get cheeks from another woman if you aren't, quote unquote, not feeling it? If you too tired, if you got a headache, you sick, you don't feel like it. Are we, ladies, as men, able to go get the cheeks from another woman because you are not up to it? Let's get into it, y'all. <laughs> Based on our marriage laws and uh -huh. the, the contract we've signed with each other right. to have sex with anybody else. Right. So these urges that come, mm -hmm. I have to share them with the one person I decide to spend the rest of my life with. Right. So that, that brings me back to my my, my soundbite. Okay. Right? I don't understand, and this is what we can discuss mm -hmm. as a woman, because I don't I don't want to say it's a man versus woman thing, but a lot of women do complain, oh, my husband's always on me. Why is he always on me? Mm -hmm. If sex is going to be a chore for you that you don't really want to do, why do women constantly push monogamy on men if you know that you don't want to have to deal with him all the time just wanting you mm -hmm. why do you push monogamy on that well who's to say i pushed anything on anybody like well we know that people, you pushed monogamy on me i pushed monogamy i forced you to get married to me time out i didn't say you forced me to get married but you, did you not say to me no oh, yeah she, she trying to twist his word around that's definitely not what he said let's keep going that you wanted to be engaged and you wanted to be married before you live with me I want, say that? I want a billion dollars. I don't mean I'm going to get it. I but, can want but something, asking, but not. You, you Right now, you're nobody, dodging the question. Nobody pressed you to, to do it. Yes. Yes, she's dodging the question, sir. I'm glad you're holding your wife accountable. Good job, sir. Is that something I wanted? Yes, it was. But You didn't press me? To, are you going to lie now so to the people because we're talking about sex? Deval, you're going to lie now to the people? Deval, knowing Kanine, you didn't strong, want monogamy? Of course I did. So then why are you avoiding the question? That's not avoiding the question. I'm saying, does that mean because I want it and I requested that, that you were going to deliver it? Like, nobody pressed you for that. Tell me, you just said you wanted it and requested it. Do you not hear yourself? I can make a request. Is the request going to be granted? Am I That's not, up am to I, you, bro. Am I not, Is she doing this on purpose? She sounds crazy. And this is your wife. <laughs> what is going on? Granting you monogamy. You are granting it to so, me. So this is my question. Look this at is my question. Always look at this. Look at this. Look at your boy. Look at your boy. This is my question. If you wanted monogamy, okay. 
Why would you want monogamy if monogamy, if, if sex is a chore for you? That's the question. You're avoiding the question. I'm not avoiding the question, but at first you said me, women or, or in general me specifically are pushing monogamy on somebody. Okay, yes, that's something that I wanted, but I didn't press you for it and be like, I'm going to hold a gun to time your head out. to propose to so me. Time out. Do also, women? Okay. also, let me finish. Also, I don't feel like I was adequately prepared for marriage. And I've said that before, because if I knew that marriage and monogamy was going to involve me trying to meet you where you were at sexually for years to come, then I probably would have reevaluated it if I wanted to be monogamous anyway. So that's fair, but we're not even even talking. About Hold on. Yes. Thank you, sir. We're not even talking about that. What are you talking about? Yo, and, and, and this is, fellas, and, and, and I say this all the time. First of all, we're not perfect. So obviously we're we're gonna we're gonna come up short when it comes to the selection of women. But this is why I say all the time, you have to properly vet your woman. If sex, ladies, if sex becomes that much of a goddamn problem, if it becomes a chore to you, again, why not just allow your man to sleep with other women? I, I, like it 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 baffles me. And I'm not going to, I wouldn't, first of all, I'm never going to come out here and say, ladies, anytime your man get it up, it's your job to get down. I ain't going to say all that. Uh, typically, what I would say, if you were to ask me, typically what I would say, ladies, is to meet your man in the middle. Now, if you're just so having to, marry, to be married or in a relationship with a man that has a higher sex drive than you, which sort of kind of tends to happen sometimes. I mean, my ex had a way higher sex drive than me, so I ain't going to say that all the time. But, uh, you know, it typically happens that the male, the male have a higher sex drive than the female. Ladies, if you're in a relationship with a man that has a higher sex drive than you, let's just say your man is like like me. I'll be wanting all the goddamn time, two, three times per day. I don't know what is going on. Hopefully it'll slow down when I get older. As of now, <laughs> it's what it, it used to be a lot worse when I was younger, but that's just me. Uh, you might be a woman that don't like having sex that often. Maybe you like doing it once a week. Maybe you like doing it, you know, once a month. Hell, I've heard that some girls only like to do it once a month. If that's you, if that's if that's the situation. You have to meet your man in the middle and find some type of common ground. Deb, what are you talking about? What do you mean? Meet him in the middle. He wants to have sex every day. You want to have sex once a week. Okay, cool. Y'all come together, right? Come up with a, you know, a calendar or whatever the case may be. And you give your man two days or three days, two days out the week. Monday through Sunday. Baby, let's talk. I want you to choose two days out of these seven days. All right, baby, say less. I'm going to choose Monday and I'm going to choose Friday. Okay, baby, every week, I cannot say no Monday and Friday. Any other day, I can say no and you can't get mad. But Mondays and Fridays, I cannot say no no matter what. That's compromising. That's meeting somebody in the middle. But a lot of y'all don't even want to do that. Y'all want to sit up here and, bro, I've heard, again, men in my family tell me, yo, I ain't have sex with my woman in four months. Who the hell went in four months for some, man, bro, I don't, I don't condone cheating. Let me say this. I do not condone cheating. But in situations like that, I'm out the door. I'm, I'm, I'm smashing on, I'm smashing on, on her best friend or something. I'm smashing on somebody. Please believe me. I don't have time for the dumbass nonsense. We both grown. We, we damn know that, um, you know, um, you know, I have sexual needs and I want this or I like that. What the hell is going on? First of all, you're my woman. I shouldn't even have to ask my woman for sex. I shouldn't even have to ask my woman for head. I've heard these types of situations. It's, it's crazy to me. The stories that my, the people, not just, let me not, you know, keep it to the people in my family, but the men that I speak to in general. Um, but, you know, again, like I said, my values is more tied into the men in my family. So I love hearing their, their stories. Uh, but these types of things that I've heard, man, like, yeah, man, Deb, I ain't had sex in the last four months. Man, Deb, my girl ain't give me head in over two years. Man, what? You must be out your damn. I'm getting hit. Somebody. Let's keep going, y'all. <laughs> about marriage. Let's even talk about dating, right? Okay. Two people are dating. Typically in society, who asks for exclusivity first, a woman or a man? I would say a woman. Thank you. That was my whole point. See, you were going all over the place. If women typically ask for ex she's going all over the place, sir, because she knows that this is a losing battle, and she's going and she's going to do the best that she can to deflect and or die on that sword. Let's keep going.
exclusivity first then when they get exclusivity say he always on me he always want to have sex why are we asking men for exclusivity if we do not want to participate it set for in sex at the same level as men we have to think about what I, that does to a I man and i don't think that that's being that, that conversation is being had okay i agree and that part i agree with yes that women are typically the ones that will ask for the exclusivity i get that yes but what i'm saying is me as a woman I don't think that I was necessarily prepared or in the mindset to know that. It's almost like once you get into it, then you're like, oh, shoot, like this is what I'm going to have to keep up with. I get that. Us speaking as 36 year old people know that now. Had I known that at 26, I, get that. I would have to contend with that, I even that. in the dating realm, I then it might have been something I would have reevaluated. So now let's go back to what you. OK, what she said was fair, fair point. But ma'am, let's be honest. If you know now what you knew back then, had you have done anything different as far as the exclusivity, as far as him having to marry you, as far as him being pressured to, first of all, to marry you or to be in a relationship with you? Let's be honest. If you know now what you knew back then, I guarantee you would have did the exact same thing. Let's be honest. If we're going to have these types of conversations, y'all, let's have them in truth. Let's have, honestly, y'all, let, let's, 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 have, let's have them in truth. I don't know what I want to say. I want to. I'll be school my chair up. I'm schooling it back. I don't know what I want to do. I'm. <laughs> um. Let, let's let's have this conversation in truth. Who pushes monogamy more? Women. I can't begin to tell you how many times I've been sexually active with a young lady to the point where she will give me an ultimatum and tell me, "Hey, Dev, listen, we can't keep doing this." Uh, without, I'm not going to keep doing this without a title. You need to, you need to do something. I need to be in a relationship or whatever, whatever, whatever. Sometime, not sometime, majority of the time, that's when I cut the ties with them out and I send them back to wherever they came from. But if I'm really, really feeling them, sometimes I'll bite. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and do ABC on two, three. But one of the things I typically notice with women is what they start doing after, especially after you've been dating for a while is they start dialing it back. Oh, I don't have to do this anymore. I don't have to do that anymore. Uh, yes, ma'am, you do. The little tricks your ass used to do five years ago, I still want them today. <laughs> I want them more often now. In my honest opinion, I, it, it's it's in my. I'm thinking that. First of all, she knows she's wrong. She knows she's wrong because he made some very great, some strong arguments. He didn't say anything incorrect. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, damn. Why do we need to have this type of conversation? Number one, but number two, why do you have to have this conversation with your wife? Your wife should know you. Your wife should know that you that you like sex x amount of times, x amount of weeks, x amount of days, x amount of however. Why am I as a man having to ask my girl first of all for sex or any sexual activities? Why am I asking it for uh, more often than what than what it was previous to? And just as she said, oh well, well, well I didn't know that I would have to do this. I, I didn't know, ma'am. Yes, the hell you did. Stop the cap. Unless you thought that your man was going to be being sexually active with other women, yes, you did. Because who else is he supposed to be sleeping with? Who else are we supposed to be getting sexually relieved, sexually relieved from besides the woman that we're married to? Let's keep going. You asked me, you said to me, you never pressured me to get married. In 2007, we were living together, right? You said you no longer wanted to live up with me and shack up with me mm -hmm. because you wanted to be my wife, not my girlfriend. Right, because I wanted to know where that the don't sound like going. pressure to you. It sounds like me voicing where I see my life going. It it sounds like me saying this is what I would like. You can decide to meet me there. If not, we can reevaluate what exactly we're doing. Okay. Additionally, would I call it pressure per se? Not necessarily pressure. <laughs> 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 It is. It is. Bro, what, what is this on his head? I don't, I, I, I don't know what the hell that is, but okay. It is pressure. But you don't want to say it's pressure. What about being you engaged? You might have felt pressure. What about there being was engaged? No behind it. I said. Ma'am, that was definitely pressure. If you're telling a man, hey, listen, yes, I'm your girlfriend. I'm living with you, but you need to put a ring on it. That's, 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 uh, that's, a, that's a form of pressure. That's you. You know, it's typical women of... Uh, quote unquote dropping hints, but it's basically pressuring a man. If we're if we are dating, we're boyfriend and girlfriend and you're living with me, 
But we can keep it like this with no problem unless you want more. And that's fine. If that's what you want, you are entitled, ladies. You are entitled to have that if that's what you want. But if you bring it up to him and he never brought it up, that's a form of pressure. And I would imagine she brought it up more than once. Let's be honest. So, yes, ma'am, that is pressure or peer pressure. Yes, that, that that's, that's exactly what that is. We don't got to rush to get married. You said, I don't want to be engaged longer than a year. Is that not pressure? Yes. That's me voicing <laughs> my opinion about it. <laughs> Sounds like pressure to me. So you say you want to be engaged. I get engaged. You say you want to be married within a year. We do that. We get married. Then you make it seem like, like sex is a chore to your husband. Once again, I ask the question, why do women who push forth monogamy on the man they're dating then get overwhelmed with that man who tries to provide that monogamy to you why do you get upset when we're trying to be what you want us to be? You don't want me to be with no one else, right? Right? I'm asking. This is a serious right. question. Yes, absolutely. You don't want me to be with no one else. Absolutely. So if I decide that all this testosterone I have, I want to give to you, why is this so overwhelming now? This is what you asked for. Sir, that's a very fair question. That's an excellent question. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll tell my woman, but I'm going to assume uh, it is a form of control. It's controlling. Uh, it's them having a form of leverage on a man. Uh, have you ever heard, or maybe you've been in a situation, I've been in these situations many times, but fellas, have you ever been in a situation of or heard of a man uh, dealing with his woman, girlfriend, wife, or whatever, and he does something or says something that pisses her off, and she'll say something like, oh, well, we're not having sex for two weeks. She's dangling it in front of you. It's a, it's a leverage. It's, she's treating you like a child over sex that should be with both of us. Oh, we're not having sex right now because I'm tired. Oh, we're not doing anything because uh, you ain't do ABC, one, two, three, da, 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 da. Why are you dangling sex in front of me? Like, 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 like it's a goddamn stick and, and, and a fishing line. It's a form of leverage. They now have a form of control over you. And a lot of the time, that's all that they have, especially if she doesn't have money like that. But that's what a lot of them have. I mean, I'm sorry, that's all that a lot of them have. But let's hear what she has to say, if she answers it. Because all she's been doing for the last five damn six minutes is deflecting, sir. And, and this is his wife. This is his wife. Imagine what the conversations are that they're having off camera. If she's this deflecting, if she's deflecting this much on camera, what is happening off camera? Again, 26 and 27 year old Kadeen uh -huh. was like, okay, here's the natural succession of life. You graduate, you're working, you meet somebody, you guys are dating. You want children. Yes. I want children. Yes. We don't want to wait too long or too late to have children. Yes. Though now a lot of people are waiting until their 30s to have yes. children. And I understand. She didn't answer the question. Stand and why. we, and we, at that time felt like, well, we're doing everything in this natural succession that the forces that be have given us this timeline. However, I did not realize that after having children, after, you know, career changes, all of the turbulences that we've been through in life, that that was going to have a direct effect on my sex drive. She did not answer the question. She did not answer. I didn't know this would affect my sex. I wasn't aware. I didn't know, ma'am. He didn't know either. Why are you so caught up in, in, in what, what you didn't? He didn't know either. He asked the... I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, um, yeah, man, ladies, again, like, like I said, if it's honestly that much of an issue, if it's that much of a problem, allow your man to step out and sleep with other women. It's just that simple. I don't... I'm not under... I'm not fully understanding. If you were to ever, ladies, have a be in a relationship with a man or married to a man, and he says, "Hey, I don't feel like paying the rent this month or next month. I don't feel like paying the mortgage for the next three months because I'm tired. I don't really feel like doing it right now. I'm tired of ABC one two three blah 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 blah." If that same woman who just heard her man say this at goes out and bees with a man. I guarantee, fellas, pay attention. I guarantee you a whole bunch of women will be cheering her ass on. 
Oh, you ain't getting it at home, sis. Get it from another man. Girl, I approve. I approve. Green check marks are all up in the comment section. But then when it comes to these types of situations, as far as a man wanting to have sex with his wife, being pressured into a marriage, a monogamous marriage at that, it becomes problematic because she don't want to have sex as often as he does. And I'm trying to figure out, and these, and, and this is a successful couple. I, I think their name is Ellis's. I can't, I can't remember their name. Ellis's, the Ellis's. I got, I, I, I'll try to tag the channel. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, why is it so problematic? Why is it that hard? How was it this hard? I would think this is be this is something easy. I would be thinking y'all be arguing about oh, over something else that's damn beat. But women will pressure you into fellas pay attention. To, women will pressure you into these monogamous relationships. Honestly, for a million different things, but one of one and one in particular, in my opinion, is a form of control. I've seen and heard women do these types of things all the damn. I've seen it happen to me. I've seen it happen to the men in my family. I've seen it happen to homies. I've seen it happen to. So again, ladies, I ask you, if you're in a situation of a man having a higher sex drive than you, and you don't want to put out with sex that often, there is women that have very low sex drive. There's men that have low sex drives. But if that's the case, you know, then find that man, you know, that have a low sex drive just, just like you. But um, but yeah, there's men, women that have high sex drive. I'm sorry. Uh, if you're if you're a woman that with, with a low sex drive, dating a man that has a high sex drive, married to a man that has a high sex drive, and you don't want to put out as often as he wants, that's fair. I'm not telling you to force yourself to get in. I'm not, I've never said anything like that. What I am saying is do something that's uh that that's beneficial to both of you as far as meeting in the middle. Maybe you want to have sex once a month. He wants to have sex twice a week or something like that. Meet him in the middle. Hey, baby, um, every 30 days, I want you to list out five dates on this monthly calendar. Star these five dates for this month. Every uh, every day that comes by and you ask me for sex on this day, I have to say yes. I cannot say you meet people in the middle. You compromise. It's just that simple. I just don't understand, man. Like it's very confusing to me because first of all, this is his wife, and I'm thinking to myself, yo, if she's deflecting this much, bro, how much is she deflecting within your household? I would only imagine. It's a whole, but no, I'm not saying a whole bunch of arguments, but there's a lot of confusing uh, back and forth, <laughs> a bunch of deflections, because she does not seem like the type that takes accountability for her action at all. Towards the end of the video, he asked her a very good question, and all she did was deflect and give out a whole bunch of damn bimble babble nonsense. That's what she did. Damn, I'm trying to deflect instead of just answering the question. Oh, well, I didn't know. 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 Ma'am, you was 27 years old. You are a grown ass woman. 27 years old, holler about what you ain't know. Man. Anyway, y'all, I, I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, go safe for a